In this question, I'm asked to find the equation of the red line. All straight lines have an equation that looks like this, y equals mx plus c, where the m is just a number and the c is just a number. m is the gradient. This is how steep the line is. c is where the line cuts through the y-axis. Here's the y-axis here, and this line goes through at 1. If we can work out the gradient, we can easily write down the equation of the straight line. To find the gradient, choose a convenient point on the line. I usually choose the point where it goes through the y-axis. And go across 1 to the right. Always go 1 to the right. Now, to work out the gradient, you need to say how far up you have to go until you hit your line. On this one, I need to go up 2. So my gradient is 2. So my equation will be y equals 2x, because the gradient is 2. And then the line cuts the y-axis at 1, so it's plus 1. And this is the equation of my straight line. Here's a question for you to try. Press pause, find the equation of the straight line, and press play again when you're ready to see the answer. The gradient of this line, if I go across 1 to the right here, I have to go up 1, 2, 3, 4. So the gradient is 4, so it's y equals 4x. It crosses the y-axis at 2, so it's plus 2. Here's another one for you. Press pause and then press play when you're ready to see the answer. So if I start here and go one to the right, I only need to go up a half. So my gradient is a half. The line crosses the y-axis at the number minus one. So it's a half x minus one. Here's the last one for you to try. It's a little bit different to the others, so you need to be careful. When you go across one to the right, all I'm going to say is you need to say how far up you go. Press pause, and once you've done it, press play to see the answer. Now, we've drawn our line on going one to the right, but we don't go up to hit the line. We actually go down, and we go down two. We're going to show this by having a gradient of minus two, not plus two. So it's minus two x. It crosses the y-axis at one. It's still plus one, so it's minus two x plus one. 